Uh, g'day. I was doing some more work on the Cunel patent, DE3024184. Uh, and basically, the patent works. Um, it's basically a, I don't know who came first, Don Smith or this guy. Um, but basically, it's, um, it's a Don Smith machine. Uh, so, that's based on um, resonant frequency uh, of the first coil uh, and then that's inducing the other coils uh, at no charge. Um, and there's a few videos to have a look at that, um, but basically, yeah, that's how it works and, and it does work. But anyway, I was doing some research and testing and I found so something. So here's my sk skanky old uh, transformer. Um, now to bring the, oh, I'm also using this um, cheapo DC pulse generator and also our 12 volt power supply. Um, and I think this only puts out uh, 24 kilohertz perhaps or something like that, so quite low. Um, so what I had to do is on the primary on this side, I had to use a large capacitor to bring the, um, the frequency down uh, to get it to resonate uh, and thus induce the second coil here, or the secondary, uh, which I also got a similar it's a, it's a 100 farad capacitor, uh, 2.5 volts. Uh, but anyway, I was mucking around and I found something and I, I did this in another video, but this will be very amazing for you. Um, so what I've got here, I'll see if I can get up close to it. So what I've got is basically, this is a LC circuit and I've got a LED in series uh, with our power supply and that is in series with the with the coil and um, I'll show you a photo of that now uh, how the schematic looks like um, so that's the that's the primary secondary is exactly the same um, it's probably it's not in tune so it's not 100% correct um, but it still does work uh, actually, we get power out of that for nothing. I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, what I would do want to show you is something pretty um, interesting and love to know your thoughts. What I did was I put this, I could tell you the. Anyway, the diode is a 1N4007, I think, pretty sure. I'll double check that for you. Uh, and that's on. It's going one specific way. You'll know what works and what doesn't because one way um, the light will go dim and the other way the light will brighten up. Um, and so I think I've demonstrated that before, but anyway, I wanted to show you how it would result in a LC circuit and inducing the secondary. That's pretty interesting. So I'll start it up and we'll have a bit of a look. So our current, I've got that set to, uh, we can set, doesn't really matter, um, let's see. So let's set it to, whoops. Uh, we can set it to 40 milliamps if you like, 30 milliamps, there we go. All right. So turn it on. Got our induced coil, my LC circuit coil going, running. And this coil's not running at all. Uh, there you can see the juice. Righto. Now I'm going to... What I'm gonna do is, I've already got this pre-tuned, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to touch this diode onto the other leg of the LED and watch. Huge brightness. But the other thing is, have a look at what it does to the secondary. How about that? That's pretty amazing. So I don't know if it's helping to balance the, the frequency between the two. I'm only just experimenting with this. I don't have um, the scope or a high frequency um, PWM to, to be able to have a look at it, but it is interesting. I'll, I'll solder it up, I'll show you. So at this point, I've taken off our capacitor and our LED. So this is just a receiving coil secondary coil 
Uh, and you can see the lights on. Uh, there's our milliamps. And you can see that uh, the induced voltage is 69.5 millivolts. Right up. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to connect with my hand, so on here, on the this one, okay, and you watch the difference in the pickup coil. Okay, so here we go, put on, overload. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put on two volts, and again, I'm gonna to touch it like this, and you'll see the difference. Overload. Okay, I'm gonna put on the 20 volts. Right out. Now I'm gonna to touch it again, and we have five volts or thereabouts. This time I'm going to put it on a dead short. We'll put on milliamps, and you can see that as it stands, uh, it's not touching the resonant value in the secondary is pretty much two parts of nothing um, so not, not even a micro amp of output so we've got nothing right so once again i'll touch the light oops hang on a sec and you can see we've got 2.6 micro amps um, which is interesting in, in itself so 0.2 of a milliamp um, so why does that induce the, that as a LC circuit? Why does it induce so much current and um, voltage? So that's pretty interesting, isn't it? Uh, also, if I do touch it, if I do put it on, let's have a look at the milliamps. Volts won't change. Milliamps, off, on. So it's consuming three milliamps uh, when I put the diode connection across the LED. Okay, so let's put that back on and have a look. So I've well, uh, soldered it back up. Light comes on. Uh, you can see with the light on, light off. So that's a huge, huge difference. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something else. Uh, and that is I'm going to try and put a diode across here uh, and uh, I will demonstrate the results of that. Here I've got the diode across the um, LED in the primary um, LC circuit. And here's the secondary. Now if I put this diode across here, the light will go out. <laughs> Not so good, is it? Hang on. Okay, the light goes out. Uh, the difference in the now, whether the light's on or not, um, the primary is still consuming that 25 milliamps. So that's interesting. Uh, the other, the other thing is, if I turn the diode around, thinking that I've made a mistake, guess what? Still goes out. There you go. Still goes out. Um, so by putting the diode across the LED of the secondary has no effect one way or the other, which is just weird. So um, yeah, I'll uh, have <laughs> a bit more of a play with that. So thanks for watching and um, let me know what you think. Catch up. And for the sake of the video, I will demonstrate um, the voltage in the uh, capacitor. Uh, currently DC 0.43, so DC half a volt. Uh, and you can see I've got everything turned down at the moment. I'll turn the knob up so that we get some light happening. There we go. And two, three milliamps, two or three milliamps later, uh, everything's all light and our uh, capacitor's still at just under half a volt. Um, this tends to prove that the inductance is um, definitely because of the uh, primary inducing the secondary uh, LC circuit. Um, and so finally, I'm just going to add a couple more um, of these LEDs onto here and uh, show you the last thing.
Okay, so back to our 2425 milliamp draw, um, four or five on the primary. Uh, two bulbs on the secondary now, and um, no difference in uh, the no difference in the current or voltage draw. Okay, so let's add a third. Okay, so still 24, 25 milliamps. A third one is connected and still um, still bright as they were. Uh, let's just put one more on and uh, call it a day, I think. And uh, still 24, 25 milliamps draw total. And we got all the lights still on. Uh, all still the same, except it would help if I can focus it. Um, oops. And I reckon you could have, uh, well, by the looks of it, you could have probably 20, <laughs> 20 of those on there. Um, I can crank it up a bit if you like, make it. The sun's coming out, doesn't, doesn't help, but um, yeah, very interesting, wouldn't you say? Hang on, I'll close the door. Better with the door closed, yeah. So as you can see, um, they're firing away. Uh, resin 1 milliamp, 25, 26. So that takes, that unit there takes uh, um, 22 milliamps. So for three milliamps, you get, you get all that. Um, the resonant primary, as much as I can get it in resonance um, at the resonant frequency with this unit. Um, but anyway, you get the gist. You could probably have 20 coils and 6,000 of these um, secondary uh, lights all joined up. That's the theory anyway. Well, um, I hope you found this interesting and um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll just uh, see if I can crank it down, crank it down, crank it up. All right. You can see me tuning it. Um, see me tuning that primary how it actually you can tell by the secondary it's a right edge there right on the edge of that what that one is that's the, uh, the duty cycle yeah, if I turn that up you can see it gets brighter it suddenly drops off so uh, that'd be pulling a fair bit of <laughs> one of that primary bulbs not blowing now um, but yeah, they're really bright now so Interesting, yeah, yeah, see how much it's drawing now. Um, so there's definitely, uh, you've got to be careful what you're doing there. Hmm, <laughs> pretty interesting. So let's see. Um, actually, I've used the multimeter to see how much voltage is coming out of the secondary to fine tune it. That's how I know um, where the, uh, the fine tuning is with both the, the frequency and the uh, duty cycle of this the old cheapo so <laughs> time to step it up a bit i think thanks for watching catch you later here i've got it tuned about as lean as i can um, input voltage eight as you can see uh, only at 7.4 uh, going through the whole system it's still light uh, and our current being 12 milliamps got it not set on 12 milliamps so um, that's what it's consuming uh, for the whole lot for the uh, pulse width modulator, the um, primary and the secondary. Uh, so seven, running on seven um, multiplied by 1284. So very, 0.084 of a watt. So I didn't think that's right. Anyway, I might have to check my math on that. But um, yeah, that's, that's pretty good, isn't it? Hey, all right. Thanks for watching. Catch up.